All right, guys, it's Bob here, and I've got a review for you. And it is this it is the Free 2 2 in 1 sensor light. Um, big thank you to Free 2 for sending this out. And uh, well, let's get into it anyway. We'll have a quick look at it. And uh, it's, I've put it back basically how it is. I've actually got some batteries in it now because you do have to supply your own batteries, guys, which is the three double A's with this particular one. So you open it up, you've got a little user manual. Tell you tells you how it all works, <coughs> and then basically you've got the light itself, and a pair of screws and plugs for fastening it to the wall. Now, originally I thought, well, when I first got it, I thought you're not really going to need to fasten it to the wall really with the screws and what have you. But once you get those batteries in, yeah, it. Uh, I think that 3M sticky bit would probably struggle um, to keep it solid. To be honest, guys. So, you know, it's a good job that the screw holes are there for it. Basically, that's your wall mount, whatever you want mount, really, I suppose. Um, if we take that out of there, like I say, I've put some batteries in. We've got a switch on the side, and if we go like that, and you can see, and it is a very nice, strong beam, actually, guys. Uh, quite impressed with it from that point of view. Uh, and then if we slide that back all the way to that end, and you can see this lights up and it's just you know the tube with the the bulb right down in the bottom there filling the tube so you know in fact actually there's a bulb in both ends i do apologize uh, the bulbs are actually led and those uh really flat ones that you can get these days uh, i forgot what they actually call them actually the the names escaped to me um then obviously you've got the off position and then you've got the sensor position now what i'm going to do is let me just turn it off a moment what i'm going to do guys is i'm going to turn the lights out and then see if we can get this sensor to go so we're in total darkness let me just slide that into position and there we go <laughs> so yeah you can see the sensor uh, does its job and as you can see, you know, you can see there's a fair bit of light there. So um, obviously not waterproof. Maybe it'd be nice if there was a little bit of at least waterproof in there for use outside sort of thing, you know, fasten it up next to your back door. But obviously inside the door is just fine. Um, the sensor obviously is good for if you've got a dark cupboard where you can't get power to, then you can fasten this to the wall on the inside. Um, you know, it's a nicely priced little thing. Um, it's not going to take a lot of drops guys it's uh it's not a super strong casing so you know i don't think it's just down to build quality i think some of it's just down to material choices obviously to keep the price down but um yeah definitely worth a look at if you you know especially if you've got somewhere where you need to get light to uh, and can't get power in you know or a cupboard or something like that or just as a torch next to your back door you know it wouldn't do as a a really good work lamp but it would uh you know give you enough room if you've got a little bit of a dark area around your house on a night i have the end of my house is quite dark when i come to take my wheelie bins out on a night and we've gone off again let me just there we go doesn't seem to be working too close that sensor but you can see it does actually have a timer on it at that as well so a big thank you to free to really for sending it out and uh there you go guys i'll leave all the links underneath as usual and uh i'll see you all in the next video Cheers guys, see ya.